Okay, so today we're going to talk about Cambridge IELTS 13 test one, and we will be discussing task one in detail. So as we know that in academic, the writing task one is report writing. Let's talk about it. There is a comparison of two maps. First of all, what we are supposed to do, we are supposed to understand the question statement very carefully and highlight the keywords and then look at the maps, read the data and then write a report on that. So the question says, um, the two maps below show road access to a city hospital in 2007 and 2010. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Now this is something, this summarize the information by selecting, this is something that you would see at the end of every question statement. So that's not something new, but it is very important because what do they say? They say that you have to uh, summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features only, okay? So uh, you are not supposed to write about each and everything that is there in the, you know, that is there in the data. So you have to find out only the main and the important features. Plus, you have to make comparisons where relevant. So compa making comparison is basically one of the biggest requirements of report writing. Fine. Now, if I read the question statement again, the two maps show road access. So there is a road access to a city hospital. This is another keyword. And there is a time duration that is 2007 and 2010. So it means that there is a city hospital. And basically, there it, it isn't going to be about the uh, center of the city hospital or the basic uh, you know, um, sketch of the city hospital, but the road access to it. This is our key point. So the road access to the city hospital and the time period is 2007 and 2010. So over the time period of three years, a few changes have been made to this hospital and what are they? That's what we're going to learn. Now, let's look at these two maps and I'll try to zoom it out a little so that we can see them together at the same time uh, and that would make it make it uh, easier for us to understand so the first one is city hospital in 2007 the second one is city hospital in 2010 okay i'll use i'll be using the pen to make the comparisons so basically i can see that this is a the city hospital right now let's see what changes have been made. The ring road, we can see in 2007's map, the same ring road we can see in the map of 2010. So that's the same thing. Uh, okay, now let's try to focus in 2007 map only and we'll see what changes were made in 2010. So we see that there is a city hospital and then there is a ring road on all sides of it. Then th this is central road. This main road is called the uh, hospital road. I'll just erase this one because it has just got connected. Okay, so this is the hospital road. This one is the hospital road. Then there is a car park over here that is for staff as well as public. And then there is a city road. So that's the main thing that we could understand about uh, the city hospital that towards the south of it, we can see our cardinal directions from here that towards the south of this uh, hospital, we have a hospital road and towards the east of it, we have the car park that is for both staff and public. Now let's look at the map in 2010. Here we can see that the ring road is still there, but an additional thing over here is a roundabout that has been added. Here we didn't have any roundabout and over here, we, we can see that there is a roundabout. Now you would have an idea that what is the basic function of a roundabout? For example, a car enters over here, it can go and exit over here. While in this situation, the car cannot exit at the same point and it will have to take this long route to get back to the same road, right? So an additional thing has been done that for the cars who just want to probably drop their uh, uh, patients or maybe the attendants or whoever the customers the people sitting in the cars or the taxis they will drop them here and then take a uh, go through the roundabout and exit it from here so this is something that they have done for the ease of the people or uh, for the ease of the uh, the people who are going to uh, drive their cars through this route 
Now, another thing that we can see is that over here, there was nothing on the east side, but in 2010, a public car park has been made on the east of, uh, to the east of the uh, city hospital. Okay, so this is the second thing that we noticed. Let me just mark them. This roundabout was the first thing. This public car park is the second thing. And the staff car park has, you know, it's at the same place, but now it has been divided. It has been solely made as for the staff, while that for the public has been given a separate space. So this is the third thing that has been made. I, I believe they are uh, linked, so I can just kind of relate to these two points together. Now, another thing is that uh, there were bus stops. These were bus stops in 2007, while in 2010, a bus station has been made towards the west of the city hospital, towards the southwest of the city hospital. And uh, these bus stops have been removed, of course, because they are, if, if they are at the, if, uh, you know, if they are on the main road, it is definitely going to cause traffic problems. To, so in order to solve this, that the buses, you know, stop here, wait here for the, uh, you know, for the travelers, for the passengers, they basically have done what? That they have given a separate place to the bus station. Now, this is the fourth thing that we have seen. The fifth thing is another roundabout that uh, gives an access to the uh, to the drivers or to the passengers towards the city road. So of course, this is another development over here. So this is the fourth thing that we have seen over here. Now, I hope you understood uh, how it all went, that how we compare the two maps, the changes that have been made in this uh, map were very significant. We could see that a lot of improvements have been made to uh, for the betterment of the traffic system on these roads. Okay. Now let's look at the sample answer that we have so that we can compare it with the with our understanding of uh, the map that we just did. Okay, so in the model answer we can see that it begins with, uh, you know, here it lacks basically the paraphrasing of the question statement that is the introduction. So we can do the introduction on our own right away and we know that introduction is just the paraphrasing of the question statement. So we can just paraphrase the question statement and write our introduction over here. The second one, this one is the overview. And what if I have to zoom it in a little so that it's, uh, it is, you know, visible to you. Okay. So it begins with the overview over here, this over, all is actually the overview okay overall it can be seen that access to the clinic has been well developed with a car park not only for the public but also for the personal moreover a roundabout has been well constructed so we know that overview is just um, you know, it, it's, it is just an overview, which means that it is not going to include all the points, but a few important points to tell what actually has happened over these over this time period. So we can see that over this time period of three years, well, uh, you know, well developed, um, uh, you know, road access has been given to the hospital and roundabouts have been made. So improvements have been made. Basically, we can say that, right? So they have mentioned it in the overview that you know the, the access to the clinic has been well developed the road access to the clinic has been well developed not only for the pub and and with the car park not only for the public and the car park is also mentioned over here that the car park is separate for the public and now for the personal like the staff members and the third point they mentioned are the roundabouts so almost there it includes all the points that we just categorized in, uh, in our maps. If I go back to the map, I'll quickly show you that we did talk about that there, the roundabouts have been made, the bus station has been made, and you know, the, the staff car park and the public car park has been uh, distinguished. Okay, now let's move back to our sample answer. So we're done with the overview, perfectly written. Now, the first para, 
in which they are going to be uh, there is going to be explanation uh, to the details to begin with in 2007 ring lane was located in the north of the picture in addition the city's clinic was situated just below the north now it is actually showing the first para is actually t talking about the time period of 2007 right so a ring load was located the one we saw that in the center there was city hospital and it was surrounded by a ring road on all the four sides to so it was located in the north of the picture and in addition the city clinic was situated just below the north moreover both the journal the general public as well as the staff shared the same car parking so the first thing they talked about is the ring lane right then they are mentioning the general public and the staff they shared the same car parking okay uh, furthermore, there were six bus stops with the hospital route. So the central road that we saw that it went to the hospital, the central road, the main road, it had six bus, bus stops that were situated along this route. Also, the city routes were available with branched not only in the west but also in the east as well as the in the south. So if we just look at our map of 2007 all the points have been mentioned over here that there is a city hospital at the center the ring road is surrounding it on all the four sides a single car park is there for the public as well as the staff members there are six uh, uh, bus stations along the central road along the central road of the hospital and then this road is divided uh, towards the city you know it navigates towards the city road it or, or it leads to the city road towards the east and the west and as well as the south so that's all about the map of 2007 that they have mentioned in the first paragraph now the second paragraph would definitely be about the map of 2010 because one was about 2007 so of course the other is supposed to be about 2010 so what do we have in the map of 2010 by contrast now they are what are we actually doing we're comparing and that's what was what we were required to do so by compare by comparing we have con, you know we have come up with the contrasts of this and we see that in 2010 access to the hospital road has been has completely changed now we will be mentioning the points how it has changed firstly the public as well as the workforce have their own parking space so we saw that the public uh, the car parking and the staff which was initially one it has been divided it has been distinguished and the public car park has been given a special uh, sp or a separate place towards the east of the hospital while the public has their parking space located to the east of the design the staff has their own in the east near the city road so towards the city road the car the staff has their own car park Secondly, a bus station has been constructed which can be found in the west section of the plan. So uh, we saw that a bus st a a station has been developed instead of the bus stops that were along the central road and they must have been creating problems uh, of traffic. Now a bus station has been, made, um, has been made and it is completely separate and is towards the west side of the plan. This situation, this, this station branch to the north and to the south roundabout of the map however both the ring M both the ring avenue and the city pavement remained unchanged so let's look at the map again and see what they are talking about okay so they mentioned that first of all the staff car park has been separated from the public car park the public car park is given a separate place to uh, on the east side of the hospital while the staff car park is at the same place and it is uh, along the towards the east of the hospital road the central road of the hospital then the bus station has been made toward the west of the hospital road so that uh, you know for the better management of the bus stops and the buses and the passengers secondly what they are talking about the ring road is again at the same place except that there are two roundabouts and they are going to give better access or exits to the to the to the drivers who just want to drop their passengers somewhere nearby the hospital or towards this hospital road and they want to give they want to exit this road so they are given a better access to exit the road so that's the changes about it i'll just quickly repeat that this was about the comparison of two 
maps of the same hospital and it has changed over a time period of three years the first one did not have a good um, a, you know a good plan of road things were quite complicated or maybe they were uh, the the places were congested there was not a proper system of uh, traffic because of the car park it must be very rushy area when the public and the staff are parking their cars in the same area then if there are bus stops and there's you know the buses we know they stop uh, time to time and then what happens is that they, they block the road basically they block the traffic then we see that the people who enter this ring road will have to take this whole round and then exit towards the hospital road while the changes the improvements that were made were that a ring road uh, you know a ring road was incorporated with two of the roundabouts which gives an easy access for the drivers to exit then the bus station was made separately it was given a separate place so that the buses don't involve or really intrude in the otherwise traffic then we can see that the parking has been divided into two a public car park and a staff car park so that that's how a better plan has been given to uh, manage the traffic right so we then looked at our model answer it did not have the introduction which is just the paraphrasing of the question statement but it has a, a better uh, overview then we saw that in both the paragraphs it has been uh, you know very nicely divided that one of the paragraph talks about one of the map and the other paragraph talks about the other map and so it gets done this way so i hope it was uh, easy for you to understand what we did we did understand the question statement first we saw what uh, is there in the question statement right we highlighted the key points from the question statement then we read two of the maps we made comparisons over here and then we wrote about them in our uh, body paragraphs of the report writing since we did not have a lot of information for compare and contrast there were just a few limited points like as we uh, did in the map of 2010 we just pointed out four changes that have been made so you know we have enough of the word count that we can include all these four points in our uh, you know description of the report i hope it was understandable for you